In Wisconsin, black infants are three times more likely to die before reaching their first birthday. Well, that's a major reason why Madison Representative Sheila Stubbs introduced six bills today. Naomi Coles reports from the Capitol. The bill seek to make health care more accessible for black and indigenous pregnant women. Historically, they face higher pregnancy mortality rates for both themselves and their babies. This is unacceptable. A reality for black women far grimmer than for others. Our mothers and our babies deserve to live. I believe the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. put it best when he said, and I quote, of all the forms of an inequity, injustice in health care is the most shocking and inhumane. Representative Stubbs legislation would provide at-home wellness visits for mothers within seven days of having a baby and repeal a law that's unique to Wisconsin and just a few other states that makes unmarried fathers pay back some of the Medicaid costs for birth. Plus, it would remove the sales tax for breastfeeding equipment and supplies. I went back to work two days after giving birth because I had to pay the rent and keep the lights on to make sure that my baby had a safe, place to come home to. According to state data, Wisconsin has the highest black infant mortality rate in the country at 14.3%. Nationwide, black mothers die of complications in childbirth between two and three times more than white women. This is Demara Howard. <laughs> She's celebrating one month of life today. Yeah. That's why black mothers are calling for equity, access, and better care. The reality is that Wisconsin's disparities and inequities in maternal and child health are rooted in systems that are underpinned by racism and bias. Wisconsin congresswomen have introduced similar policy bills at a federal level. Earlier this year, Democratic Senator Tammy Baldwin and Milwaukee Congresswoman Gwen Moore introduced companion bills in both the House and the Senate aimed at addressing these kinds of disparities. At the Capitol for News 3 Now, I'm Naomi Coles.